Uh, we're now going to continue with the, the, the theme uh, of actually cultural festivals, international cultural festivals, uh, with a special speaker uh, who's actually also a close friend of ICD, based here in Berlin, uh, Mr. Christian Kirsch. Christian Kirsch is the initiator and founder of the International Delphic Council. Let me say a few words about uh, Mr. Kirsch and then uh, a little bit about uh, the IDC. Mr. Kirsch was born in Berlin in 1943. He graduated in the art section of the Higher Technical Education College of Steyr, Austria. After military services, he started to work as graphic artist and promotional advisor, followed by a financial training, becoming a banker, and finally settling for 18 years as an international finance and economic advisor. In the 70s, Mr. Kirsch began to promote art, artists and started to focus towards artistic education and further education. He developed his first thoughts and considerations about a sustainable competition forum for the arts. Researches brought him onto many countries, consulting scientists, artists, politicians, uh, giving them advice and, and suggestions as they developed their strategies. The idea for an international competition of the arts became more and more of a reality. Professor Dr. Helmut Flajar, Dean of the Classical Philology Faculty of the Ludwig Maximilian University in Munich, guided Kirsch into the direction uh, of intensive studies about the ancient Delphic games. Greece and antiquity moved into the focus. Kirsch traveled several, several times to Greece and finally moved even partly to Delphi and Athens to learn as well as to have discussions with Melina Mercuri, Mikis Theodorakis, Tassas Tsanatakis, uh, Starvos uh, Xarakos, and he worked together with him in 1989 and 1990, Antonio Samaras, Evangelos Arabatsis, and many others. Collecting the experiences from Greece and worldwide, Kirsch was strengthened in his idea to revive the Delphic Games. In addition, he consulted personalities such as Lord Yehudan Mehunan, Karan Singh, uh, His Majesty Sofia, Queen of Spain, Michael Gorbachev, Federico Mayer, uh, Zaragoza. The response was encouraging and motivating at the same time. With all his energy, Kirsch initiated and organized the founding assembly of the International Delphic Council in 1994 here in Berlin, the birth date of the Delphic Games in the modern era. The 77 founding members are from 20 countries. From the very beginning, the IDC was striving for an intensive involvement of the official Greece, its personalities, and institutions. Many meetings took place in Greece, among these places also the European Cultural Center of Delphi, which led to cooperation in 2007. The format of the Delphic Games is reflecting and honoring the Greek roots, as well as promoting Greek cultural heritage worldwide. This is reflected in the implementation of the Delphic poet to honor the poet Pindar, who we owe the knowledge of the Pinthian Delphic Games through his poems, the ritual of water ceremony, and the Castanian Spring in Delphi, which symbolizes water as the Delphic Games elements. But last but not least, the Greek language became next to German, besides English, as basic communication of the Delphic movement, one of the three Delphic languages. So we're having a chance now to learn directly from the founder, uh, Mr. Kirsch, about how also something such as the International Delphic Council can also build bridges and bring people together across national borders as well as other borders. So if you could please join me in a very, very warm welcome for Mr. J.C.B. Kirsch. Thank you. Jordan in a minute, almost whole lives in a minute. At first, welcome being here. And thank you, Mark, also for having the opportunity to introduce an idea which might solve part of the requests and demands Mr. Amir had and said, what could we do? Because we all more or less know the lex, why we're not more powerful, why we don't really change, how we unite to change. We have chances to change, and it could be done. At first, I would like to know how many nations are among us sitting here. So, from continents, some con please uh, give me an idea uh, and let me know what kind of nations are gathering here at the very moment in you. Egypt, Egypt thank you at the first. And then? United Arab Emirates. United Arab Emirates. Great. I, 
Israel, great, wonderful. United States. United States. Hungary. Pardon? Hungary. Hungary, great, yes, wonderful. Canada. Canada. Mm -hmm. Chile. Pardon? Chile. Chile. Oh, Latin America as well, great, wonderful. Colombia. Colombia. Colombia, great, wonderful. Mexico. Mexico. Belgium. Belgium. Czech Republic. Serbia. Serbia. Nigeria. Pardon? Nigeria. Nigeria. Nigeria, Africa, great. So you see, it's a cosmos almost. We're uniting here. And besides Australia, if I'm not mistaken, all continents are present. That's a wonderful moment. And it could give an indication how we can change things. As Mark said in the introduction, I studied arts, thereafter went to finance and became a sponsor of artists to learn what is all about performing arts, about arts as such. And I finally found out it's more than singing, dancing, having fun. It goes into different areas and fields. It goes into language. It goes into dressing. It goes into what matters. What is our identity and what we carry on to our children and grandchildren? What is worthwhile to be done? And what is just time-consuming nonsense, more or less fun, but forgotten if we leave the door. And as I said before to Mr. Amir, why arts and culture is that suffering? Why? And what kind of examples we have to learn from how to gain strength. And I finally, I finally came up with an observation you all know. What makes the largest sports event in the world that large? And give me some examples which pop in your mind when you hear sports? What you would consider as largest sports event? The Olympic Games. Yes. World Cup. Yes, World Cup. <laughs> Formula One, you say it. <laughs> exactly. We realize more or less it's not that hard for us to recollect and to toss out at once a sport event. What are the largest art events? And I mean this word art event in particular because I don't want to refer to festivals only. Yes. Yes. Known worldwide today, and this is the difficulty. So what draws worldwide attention? And we will recognize it's harder for us to recollect and to remember artistic events, so to speak. And I must admit, uh, I have my, let's say, critical observation to festivals, because sometimes I have the impression festival starts every year or every four years, whenever they come, from zero. It's not an education place continuing, and so the initiative remains as an initiative but will not carry it on. And with this, it's a waste of money. If we don't take the earnings, the learnings, out of one to the next. And why you think this is the case? The un uh, yes. Why this is the case? What do you think? 
that sports is so important or worldwide known compared to arts festivals. Yes? So you raise a good point, the media, to get the media involved and to bring them, let's say, we are daily swamped by, by sport events, soccer, whatever, every day, hours. So it's a promotion, actually. Yes, please. I another Well, let's... Uh, about the audience. About the audience, okay. Well, uh, I must admit, uh, in the art events, and uh, we will discuss some, not events, but one art uh, performance in particularly, and I will try to prove to your arguments that it's 50-50. There is not a minority, because uh, it's even sometimes in arts and education, there are much more women involved as men, in general. That's what I observed. However, let me tell you my observation. Most important is sports managed to organize, uh, to, let's say, to unite, and to unite under certain products. And with this, they gained importance, they gained acknowledgement, they get the money, the sponsors, everything. It is almost a self-fulfilling prophecy. Due to their existence, they make money and vice versa. But this was not always like this. So we have to be smart and have to learn from sports. Because arts, as I said before, is scattered in too many disciplines because also artists, they naturally want to perform, want to be unique, forgetting that very often each of them had to eat, has to make money, has to make a living, traveling, etc., raise a family. So the common things are mainly underestimated and not focused so much in the fields of arts. And I would like to speak with you about the power of arts. And I really mean power. It started much earlier than any soccer ran throughout. The mumming and the humming of the mom educated silently the baby within her. So it is proven, even scientifically, that music that sound influence mankind much more than any body activities before they come. So from the starting point, culture, arts, has much more opportunities. But we allowed ourselves to be pushed aside humbly by the money makers. Let's learn from them because we can change. Because otherwise, as important the festival is, we lose our roots. Because each of us knows, if we don't know where we come from, if we don't know our roots, we don't know where to, how to design a future. It's impossible. 
So it's a matter not only of us today, but the children and the grandchildren. So what matters to be preserved, to be showcased, to be entertained and educated in a humbly nice competing way? And what is just a time frame filler? Nothing more. Both is needed, but arts and culture needs a logistic. And as Mr. Amin said, very good, the problem is we need a system. How we bring this diversity into a position to have its floor, its stage, how we manage to spread our wings, to get the wind, which is there to lift us up. We are trained to keep the wings like this, being nice and humble. That's the so-called obligation of our society, to keep us button-proofed. Push that button, and we are manipulated here and there. But we can do much more. And this is here, and this is here. If we don't recover in this end, we will not give any future to our children. We make consumers out of them, nothing else. And so I would like to give you an idea with something I had the privilege to collect. Some called it founder, but it was all there. I just combined it, and I learned from the artists, I learned from the continents, and it brought me there where I am today. I want to show you a four-minute film about the International Delphic Council's product, modern talking, so to speak, the Delphic Games of the modern era. The Delphic Games were held for a thousand years, one year prior to the Olympics. Because in ancient times, the Greeks knew the essence is beside body and mind. Body, just a body, is nothing without mind and spirit. And so they honored the gods in Olympia with the sportive games and honored the mind. In Delphi, with the Pythian games or Delphic games as we name it today. So they were body and mind and they are complement each other. They are the two sides of human, so to speak, coin. One needs another. The Olympic games, for example, has as a symbol the fire the Delphic Games as the water. The Castalic Spring at Delphi was the element of purification before people went there competing in the arts. They purified themselves and even today purification is the holy symbol of water. If we pray wherever in the world water is of essence. One year, as I said, prior to the Olympic Games, the Delphic Games took place to honor the god Apollo, the god of light and the god of the Muses. And the whole Mediterranean world was part of it. And we recognized naturally in 1994, we cannot revive the ancient Delphic Games. It's impossible because time has changed. Exactly, they were banned 1,600 year on the year exact before. And 100 years after the founding of the IOC, the Olympic Games, 1894, the Delphic Games were founded in Berlin by representatives of 20 nations, as Mark said. We have six 
art categories in the center. And it was hard for us to find the right names because it should not reflect European colonialism. So we went out to the continents to learn. And we came to the following solution. We have the acoustic arts at first. This is instrument, singing, electronic sound, acoustic. The second is performing arts, dance, theater, circus. The third, the lingual arts, poetry, literature, storytelling, moderation, everything to do with the mother tongue. We had, a, we had the fifth Delphic Games in Malaysia, and we had storytellers coming from several continents, from South Africa, from the Philippines, from Malaysia, from G uh, Germany, from countries and nations. Each of them spoke in their mother tongue. And the organizer said, oh, let us pray that it's not a disaster. Far away from that. People sat on the edge of their chairs, listened to the storytellers, and all of a sudden we saw the desert. All of this. Some of them had even noisemakers at the back helping to understand the jungle. Some of them, the, the, it was amazing. And or one was playing five uh, wind instruments. <whistles> oh no, you, you, you were amazed. And this was in former times, the first lesson for the children. Oh, who I am, where I come from. And this is in danger to fade away if we don't create floors for that. Then we had visual arts. This is sculpturing, painting, handicrafts, goldsmithing, fashion, everything which has to do with, with skill, handicraft skill. Finally, we had, and here, it got, as you said, weird. We created social arts 20 years ago. Social arts, Christian, are you crazy? Social arts in a competition, in a presentation, social arts, that's nonsense. Nowadays, nobody will speak like this. But 20 years ago, they did. Social arts is communication, is media, is computer games, is pedagogic and didactic. How to train, how to attract youngsters to love to listen and not being forced sitting a certain time. And last but not least, ecological arts. They just shook their head and said, ecological arts, there is not anything like this on earth. I said, okay, from now on it is. Today, it's village and city planning, park planning, preserving of cultural heritage is a highly art. No one will doubt it. At that time, oh my God. And naturally, the artists, they get their award. They get the award in, with medals, where there is a possibility to compare gold, silver, bronze. They had naturally, as well, for the um, Lira Award. Lira Award is a little, we copied a bit, from the idea of the Oscar nomination. It's a smaller artistic skill out of a larger part. And this we called a Lyra Award. And then, last but not least, we have the Laurel Award for awarding artists, speakers, drummers, whatever, where we just, and you all know this experience, where we, uh, if you look to a, uh, to a performance, and it ends 
It's silent. And then you say, wow. And so the kids, they said, a wow award. <laughs> yes, the audience. And for example, we had competitions where the solo dancer of an opera house participated in dancing and the break dancer in his floor and screaming and yelling was going on on one side and on the other side and the break dancer said we never ever expected that I will be honored like the classical dancer here wow great and they went home with their medals so it's not accidentally that we have two Delphic games, one for the juniors and one for the seniors, up to 25 years and five years unlimited, 25 years unlimited. Because the youngsters, they need their way to express themselves. And so poetry comes from the lyrics and goes even to slam poetry and when I heard the first time, slam poetry, oh, disgusting. This kind of devaluating, crippling your mother tongue, oh, God. And friends of me say, say, Christian, come along, have a look. And it was a German language competition of German-speaking countries of Europe. And they came here to Berlin, and they invited me, and the friend who organized said, Christian, here, take, please, these... these uh, these little um, files, these are just numbers. Keep them, please, for a moment. And sit in the fourth row. I said, okay, fine. I had my little pile here and waited. And he said, oh, Christian, by the way, I have forgotten to tell you, you're one of the juries. And I said, no, please, please don't. I never did anything like this. I, I, I'm just an observer. He said, no, no. Get involved or leave the room. <laughs> so I did and I listened and all of a sudden I recognized it's an other language but not less exciting it is as we know SMS messages you cannot write like a book each Communication has its own language. And here I recognized the so-called slam poetry language the first time and recognized that after the second evaluation, it was very easy. And I had my meaning. I always not, uh, was at the same, I had not the same evaluation than others, but mainly it was in the same range. And so I learned and that's why we had junior and senior competition. The last Delphic Games took place for the juniors, 2011 in South Africa. And the last for adults was 2009 in Jeju, Korea. And We had the vision, the dream, to create a floor you, Mr. Amir, wished to see. We saw from various countries and continents people comparing, and where there is a competition possibility to compete even, who is the best? And I know in breakdancers, the last two breakdancers, one was exceptional, almost, uh, I would say, unbeatable. He was the world champion in breakdance, and he said, I want to be with them. And the second, when they um, made their performance, the second just kneeled down and said, oh, you are the best. I want to learn from you. And we all screamed the old one and the young ones, and the performing place was the six-story um, um, high atrium of a sales compound. 
and juniors up to the sixth floor. They stand and leaned over and screamed like hell. And we old champions, we just sat there and screamed as well. So it showed, if you lighten the fire, you can burn out tiredness. You can burn out a lot and you can come to the essence. And now, last but not least, I want to show you just an indication, a flavor, a smell, how it happened. That's not the beginning though, but it's fine. that a woman from Delphi should fetch the water, a young woman born there. In the evening there was a ceremony handing over the water to the host nation. At that time, Korea. Water from the Castalic Spring was handed over to the Korean famous artist who has the honor to carry the water to Korea. Thousands of spectators. Delphic Games for Adults. With the national parade of each country. Sprayers, brilliant sprayers. You could see there. So 30 it's back just pipers a, a, in a, a church. platform to express, you know, our uniqueness, you know, and come together and explore. <laughs> <laughs> so Delphi Games is like a new country, yeah. new people, yeah. but artists. So, yeah. I think it's brilliant, 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 because they'll be exposed all over the world. I think it's good, it's great, I'm very excited. It was a fast cut. I received the stick yesterday. However, you should have an, a little impression what or how a forum could design if we unite our knowledge, if we unite our capacity, because culture and arts, the fields, are not poor. They are just unorganized. <coughs> And one is taking money away from the other. And I object if people are asking me, oh, it's another festival. I said, no, 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 no. It's not an additional festival to the thousands every year. It is a learning stage, who we are, to learn from games to games and to educate teachers to continue educating. Because the festival situation is very often a time frame has to be filled so many days, and then each goes its way. But we initiate national Delphi councils within the countries. And they select, and they help together the artists. And there will come a time, 
at the very moment we don't have it, where each country caring for arts, culture, education will have its National Delphi Council and their National Delphiads, so that throughout the provinces, even the nation learns, oh, gee whiz, I never knew that we are that wealthy and rich by our own culture, to choose from the best and to show the world the best. And then I guarantee you, we will be swamped with money as the IOC will be swamped. And this can be distributed because we have a very transparent network. Back to the roots. Back to the education levels. But without unification, without protecting our stage, we will not survive at highest level. Each of us will survive and suffer through it. But that's not enough. Thank you for your attention. Thank you. Very passionate presentation. The, the gathering will take place in Delphi. And it looks as if we have India as the next host. This is adult. And uh, we came even to one conclusion because we are in the fortunate, unfortunate position starting something new. We can adopt good ideas. And so, for example, we learned that the Junior Delphic Games will be carried out in the future by campuses within a country, within a city. So it will be dedicated to the juniors, to, to reflect the power of the juniors, because it needs a certain wisdom to listen sometimes to poetry of the elder ones, or to the storytelling of elder ones, or to involve the arts of elder ones. And for them, the Delphic Games for the adults are created. And we started with the juniors. 1997. So spread the news and come back to us. Go on the nerves of your authorities and arts and culture and education in your home countries. Rattle the cage. The cage is not as stable as you think. <laughs> as we learned in North Africa. And for the United Arab Emirates, I would like to, I learned a lot from the United Arab Emirates, um, having a guest from there as well. For example, it took Europe hundreds of years to develop a certain cultural image and to, dis, uh, and to preserve what makes us what we are what is worthwhile to preserve and what has to be continued or what could be forgotten. Most of the time, it's forgotten that the Arab world was far ahead in past centuries in arts, in science, in many, many arts and skills. And, and then, unfortunately, the Arab world, out of the developments, were more or less used, misused as Africa as such by the colonial powers of Europe. And the model of Europe is in some aspect brilliant, in some aspects devastating. And I would like just to encourage your country, as other countries as well, please focus towards your own cultural heritage. There's a lot to preserve, but not as a museum. To copy the West is not the best. That's what I realize, and that's why I admire one of your um, Jaja, for example, some of your, uh, your uh, Emirates are very highly aware of this.